All right, guys, just got done with the off-road course, and now we're gonna do some towing. We're gonna be towing just under 4,000 pounds. That is a side-by-side -side in the back, as well as an ATV. One thing that you will notice is the car is still perfectly level. There's not a lot of weight on the tongue pushing the rear end, so there's still a lot of play to keep that ride very, very comfortable. Ours is that one coming up, so we're gonna drive that, see how it does. We're gonna do about 15 miles an hour on the dirt road. 15 miles per hour? Yeah. So up ahead we will be on a paved road, so there you'll be able to pick up the speed a little bit. Um, you are in the all-wheel drive model, which allows you to tow up to 5,000 pounds. Uh, this particular um, trailer, we've got about a total of just under 3,700 pounds in weight. And then our two-wheel drive uh, model tows up to 3,500 pounds. In terms of the towing, um, they provide a couple different things in terms of uh, dual fans for the radiator as well as the transmission cooler, it adds a heavy duty cooler um, versus a standard. So with the cooling system, it just means you can go a lot longer and not have to worry about overheating and ruining your transmission. Yeah. How's that torque, Louie? Feels good. All right, let's see how this thing tows. Got Eric over here, he's, uh, he's our guide, knows everything about this truck. Right. <laughs> uh, so Louie just finished driving this and he tows stuff with his Chevy Silverado and it seemed like you liked it. How much weight do you tow? Not much. Not much. It's a full-size trailer with uh, different four quads. Mm -hmm. yeah. Louis tows four quads. All right, so I'm about 1,500 RPM. Definitely feel like I have enough power to get up and go when I want to. Pretty nice. So this does have that intelligent system where if it does feel uh, the back starting to fishtail or anything. It's able to transfer some of the torque from the front to the rear and then from there it can actually distribute um, to either side um, of the rear whether it needs uh, more torque or not for the traction. So it's always working, always trying to find the best traction, always trying to keep you going in a straight line, keep everything really predictable. And you also have the uh, traction that you can actually, you have different modes so do those, the modes still work too, with the snow mode? Um, there's snow, mud, and sand, and then you're just driving in normal right now, normal conditions. And then now this has the electronics already installed to be able to, uh, it, to hook up to a trailer with brakes, right? If the trailer has its own brakes? Yeah, so you'll just have the accessory for the actual brake controls, which is what you see right here. And then the connector is not an accessory. It already has that, the seven prong. Yeah. Sweet. No, yeah, this feels as good as my dad's Tundra, but I'm sure that might be capable of a bit more, a little bit more. As I mentioned earlier, the majority of truck owners don't even tow. Yeah, so they say, they say like 95% of the time, people who own the mid-sized truck are just using it for a commuter car, yeah. and then only 5% is off-road or towing. Yeah, so it's a really low number. But in that 5% case, it is still very capable of doing what you need it to do. Yeah, with the payload up to 1584 for the all-wheel drive, and then as well as up to 5,000 pounds of towing. Sweet, yeah, for my towing impressions, uh, I tow my boat a lot, and this definitely uh, handled the side-by-side -side and the quad very, very well. Uh, I definitely am confident this can uh, do what it needs to do. That's all I have to say about that. All right, Eric. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Appreciate it. We learned a lot. Thank you. 